In this next example, we are going to review a simple JUnit test that's designed to simulate integration between a Java EE application and Red Hat JBoss BRMS. So, as you can see, we have our JB Travel project already here in JBoss Developer Studio. We're going to open it in the Drools perspective by going to a window, open perspective, Drools. And so now we can see all of our various rules and so on and so forth that we need here under JB Travel in our Drools perspective. It allows us to examine our REIT tree with all of our decision points that are going to happen throughout the course of our rules that we have built here around gold status, silver status, bronze status, and so on and so forth. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually test these rules using a simple JUnit test which we will import as a Maven project and this is going to come from our labs DRL integration once again if you see it retrieving a listing and it's taking time again that's because we don't have network access and you can cancel it at this point we'll just click finish and our application is now available to us our test is here under com JB travel test it is a rules test so let's take a look at our various pieces of this inside of our rules test we have a before section and an after section the before and after section are run before and after each individual test so in our before section there's some items that we want to take a look at here's the get our factory piece this is going to grab the refactory responsible for creating resources needed by drools like our KIE container and our base config things of that nature this second line KIE container equals services get KIE class path container creates an instance of our class path container which allows us to read rules available in our class path it's going to look in meta INF for a K module and you can find this generally speaking under resources. So there's our resources with our K module. In the next section here are error messages. This code block is going to parse any errors that may have resulted from loading our rules. It's a handy practice to follow. Any issues uh, in our rules section will be identified easily at startup time and an illegal argument exception will be thrown since that's a standard exception to be used when a process works but the data isn't actually correct. Here we load our KIE base. This is our base collection of rules. In this case we are going to look for the JB travel base. This is going to be again under our K module. Let me open that real quick for you. Our K base is named JB Travel. That's what we're actually going to be looking for when we try to load this. We did a really simple print statement here just to tell us how many packages we're going to have and be processed. Um, and then our last item here, our session container new KIE session, K session, is going to actually create the KIE session, which will then be used to fire the rules against our various facts. Our after code simply disposes of our session. This again is a very handy thing to do if our session is not null. If your session is a stateless session, that's going to be automatically disposed of during the execute method though, so you won't need it unless you're dealing with a stateful KIE session. So our test gold bag upgrade rules is our next section. Again, we've annotated it with at test. That makes sure that it's going to be called as a test by JUnit. We create a customer, which we're going to test. We set the loyalty level on our customer to be gold. 
we insert the customer into our session and then we fire all of our rules with session fire all rules once we fired our rules we want to be able to work with the facts that we have and so we're going to get all of our fees out of working memory using this session dot get fact handles we're gonna loop over it and find all of our fees and add them to our fees list what we want to do is we want to make sure that our fees size is two this is based on our rules we know that we have a gold user and we want to make sure that we have exactly two fees one of which needs to be a double value for a bag fee and for a class upgrade fee so we want to just make sure that those are the two types that we have bag fee and class upgrade fee and if not we're gonna fail on that and then we want to make sure that our total fees is two hundred and ten dollars because that's how much this particular person should have to pay on his reservation if he's a gold member who is checking two bags and upgrading to first class okay. so that's all that we need to know there there's a step here where if you are comfortable writing some Java code you can go ahead and write a drink upgrade test if you want to review the drink upgrade rules and write some appropriate rules there we're not going to do that in this demo but feel free to take the time to do that once the demo is complete now that we have our tests all built out for us we're gonna go ahead and run our J unit test by clicking our JB 463 rules tests and choosing run as J unit tests and here it is no failures one run and if we go to the console you can see that here's all of our information we have nine packages our comfort package um, there's a model package class upgrade seats so all of our rules got loaded we called the gold bag check rule two and then we ended up with five facts in the system So we can see that our entire application ran, that our facts were asserted as necessary, and that we've built out our test against our rules tree.